Perl tutorial part 48 HTML link XTOR. The HTML link XTOR module lets us extract links from a web page by calling a callback function. We use two modules first of all LLWP simple module which will download the web page and then our HTML link XTOR and now we put the URL of the website we're going to get script socket dot com now we're going to create an HTML link XTOR object link XTOR equals HTML link XTOR new now what we're going to do is the HTML link XTOR object we're going to pass its constructor a reference to a callback function named links which is going to be a subroutine that we're going to create below so we escape the AND sign to load our subroutine called links that we're going to create so now we're going to pass the links with the HTML link X to modules pass method which will act upon every link in the page so link XTOR pass our URL like so and now we will create our subroutine called links so sub links so first of all we take our default array like so and split it into the tag and hash and now we start an if statement if tag equals a which is the link tag anchor tag now this is when it's a good idea to comment the end of your tags If tag equals A for anchor, we're going to start a for each loop for each key and the keys function for hashes, links hash. For each key, the keys of the links hash. Finally, if key equals the anchor tags attribute href, which is the URL.
we will print the link like so. Now save the script and let's run it. And there we have links extracted from scriptsocket.com. I want to show you now how we can modify the subroutine very slightly so we can extract all the images from a web page. So simply change the A to IMG for the image tag and change the HREF to SRC and obviously you would change links the words links to be images throughout the subroutine etc but if we run this now this will gather all the images from scriptsocket.com and here we have all the image files from the front page So that's how to use HTML link extra to extract links and images from a web page.